hello to my next uh, update in the in my setup journey um i know there there has been some silence for a couple months and i wasn't really practicing a lot uh, but every now and then i kept up the practice and in the last two weeks many things happened around my setar journey and so i thought it's it's time to do another update <laughs> and there's lots to to talk about so first things first uh one of my string <laughs> broke one of my strings broke so right now there are only three strings at my setar and the the luck in the bad luck is that it was the fourth string that broke so the third and the fourth strings need to be played together so at least now i can play the third string alone but what happened is i actually had uh, my first two lessons so one introduction lesson that was just to get to know the teacher and then the first real lesson and between the two my teacher asked me to tune my setar um, to another scale <laughs> and it was the first time i tuned my setar it uh, even i i did a really poor job um i got an app to when i play the string to know what note do i play um, and then what i was doing is I was playing it once, I checked the note and I saw, okay, it's wrong. And then I turned it with my right hand and then I played it again. So that was a really difficult process. And I learned that there's an easier way to do it, of, of course, which is continuously playing. And then with your left hand simultaneously tune it and uh, checking the note so it's like uh it's much much faster that way <laughs> but because i was going the tedious route um i actually i put too much strain on the string i tuned it too uh tense and then the string ripped apart and then luckily a friend in Berlin gave me a replacement string <laughs> which looks like this so this one is rolled up and it has on one end it has this part that you can attach uh, so this kind of you can attach it to your setter here and the other end uh, will be wrapped around um, this wooden piece <laughs> but I I even snapped the replacement string because it's not that easy so when you wrap around the the wire around the wooden stick um, yeah it's kind of there's a special way to do it and i haven't figured it out yet so i'm afraid to replace it with this string because it is it's a, it has this end so i met my friend again and she gave me again this replacement string but she also gave me this simple string which i can practice with that to replace the string and hopefully it will all work out after a couple attempts and then I can use the this string for replacement <laughs> but anyway for now I play with three strings which is also possible and not not great but possible and my first lesson was actually amazing I, I learned a lot about so many micro adjustments but in the end my hand is completely different my right hand is completely different than i finally understand like it's a mechanical understanding my hand has 
how to hit the strings and how to position it. So I'll just play some practice that I learned that I also am supposed to practice and hopefully you'll notice the difference. I'm able to hit the strings much more strongly and much more cleanly. Um, and yeah, I'm back to my regular practice of like practicing it every day, which is also super cool. So the most important part is to keep your wrist straight. You cannot do this or this, but I was always doing this. So the way to do it is with your thumb and with your two fingers. So this is really straight, straight. And I didn't really know that. So now I know. The other part is to keep these fingers as close, like everything should be as close together, but the middle finger is free. So these fingers also belong together. And so I'm supposed to hit like this, but I was doing this, right? There's this gap here. And with that, uh, and a lot of practice, <laughs> I can hit the strings much stronger. This still is not as strong as I usually could do it. Yes, let's see. Yeah. I think another part is I got, I got more used to the set or I was afraid to like break the string or something, but I now understand better how I can hit it gently while still producing a loud sound. Oh, and another part is to put these fingers, the two last fingers, closer to the strings and turn the wrist a bit. But all of these things, my teacher like adjust, helped me to adjust uh, kind of on the fly. So I'll play a bit and he'll help me to adjust and mm, that way I'm able to improve much faster than without any feedback loop, of course. So I'm really, really happy with my teacher. I'm going to play this little practice for the first string. I'm still not hitting the strings super cleanly, so sometimes I hit two strings or three strings, not at the same time like this, but it should be more like hitting only the first string. It's okay if I hit the second string a bit, but it should be at the same time. So one more time.
that was the practice for the first string and it's basically the same practice for the second and the third and fourth string um, the same order of left hand positions and then with the right hand I just change the string I'm hitting so for the second string like it's always three times three then three times with my index finger later three times with my middle finger and ring finger yeah and for the second string again I think I need to turn my my wrist a bit like this and then I can hit the second and third string together too but not the first string I cannot hit the first string That was a bit unclean so when I'm hitting with my in with my middle finger and I hit the third string it hits my middle finger on the side so it's giving this bad sound um, I also think the tuning of my center is not perfect it's I couldn't get it better, but um, I think I need to be more precise with the tuning. I'll play it a second time. That was it. Um, there's a third exercise for the third string, um, but I'll skip it for the video. I'll just practice for myself. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm really, really happy that I'm back with my setup practice, and I have some some repairing to do. And yeah, I'll I'll have a lesson, one lesson per week and practicing every day between the lessons that is also really helpful to to have kind of a regular uh, so every every week i learn something new and then i have the week to to practice it and in the next week i'll play it for my teacher that's really nice practice and keeps me up keeps keeps me motivated so i'm really really happy about this um and even my friends told me it's okay that the string is breaking that it's part of the experience as a setup player that like the string is breaking and also it's about also 
getting more comfortable and familiar familiar with with your instrument and this is kind of a an experience that's part of the whole thing and yeah just to show this is the it's called gushi in farsi and i don't even know how it's called in english um yeah so i'm really happy <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and until next time.